So what is up everybody? It is Rodak from Rodak Survival and we are back with another video today. Now today guys, before I jump into anything, I just want to preface all my comments by saying I wholeheartedly appreciate, I'm super grateful and I know that I am blessed to have the support that I have, you know, on my videos, on the channel, whatever it may be. Um, I wanted to go ahead and put that out there and say that because it is true. I genuinely appreciate everything that I get. But this video may come off as me being, me complaining, me having a rant, rambling, whatever you may want to call it. But it's something that has been on my mind, you know, for about a week now. And I got to get it out. And it's something I want to talk about. So here we are. Buckle up, because we're going to talk about it. So I understand that YouTube is hard. You know, doing anything where you want to gain following, whatever it may be, it is hard work. I completely understand that. You have to be dedicated. I completely understand that. And it doesn't just happen overnight. Again, I completely understand that. But with how blessed that I know that I am to have the support that I have now, I am still frustrated. And so let's just jump right into that. Number one, where does my frustration come from? I'm frustrated because I put my whole life into this and that doesn't garnish or garner any more need for support. If anybody wants to not watch it, then that's their choice. I can't force anybody to do anything. But I want you guys to kind of get my perspective so then maybe you can understand why I'm making this video. I put my whole life into this for a long time. I don't go out and hang out with friends. I don't go out and do anything. I have my day job. I get up at 5.30 every morning to go to my day job. I get up, that I get off of at 5.30, sometimes 6, sometimes 6.30 at night. And I come home, take 30 minutes or so to kind of chill out, kind of, you know, rewind from the day, um, unwind from the day, and prepare myself for the long night ahead. So then about 7, 7.30, you know, most of the time even earlier, I start shooting video, I start, you know, and these are videos for next week and the week after. Like the videos that you guys see, sometimes I shoot those a week before. You know, just because I, I put everything I have into this because I want to have a video for you guys every day or at least every other day. That way they can already be done, I can put them out, they're already done, and I can be working on next week's stuff. So when I'm doing all this, when I'm filming and editing, I'm up until two, three o'clock in the morning every single night, Monday through Sunday. It is Sunday today. I went to bed at four o'clock in the morning last night try, working on a new logo for the YouTube channel that you guys, if you're watching this video, you can see right there, it is my, you know, my picture. I stayed up to 4 o'clock in the morning and I had an alarm go off at 7.30 this morning. That way I could get up, use my whole Sunday. This is what I do for my weekends. I can't wait for weekends because my day job takes away from half of my, more than half of my day during the week. Like this is what I'm passionate about. This is what I truly love to do. And my day, I have to have a day job because I need my insurance. I need money to be able to pay for things. And yeah, that's a part of the process. But I cannot wait for weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I spend them all day at home, making videos, learning new things about editing, just to try to make a better experience for you guys. So when I say I put my whole life into these things, it's true. I've easily probably spent $1,500 to $2,000 on just equipment to try to get a better experience for you guys, whether it be cameras, stands, microphones, um, computer software, whatever it may be, I want to give you guys the best experience and that's what it is for me. So when I say that it's frustrating that I will put sometimes 12 hours into just editing a video. And let's not talk about the four hours it took filming everything. Let's talk about the 12 hours after it that are just editing. You know, four hours here, take like a 30 minute break, take a shower, go for a run, go to the gym, whatever, maybe come back, do another four hours. Like, I, I put everything I have into this 
and I will continue to do that, but where it's frustrating for me, and I, guys, like I said, I know that I'm blessed to have as many people as I have watching the videos. A lot of people don't even have a quarter of the size, but I get, and I get that. I just feel, I've been doing this for over a year now, I feel like I should be further along. And without going too far off point, like I said, the reason I get frustrated is I will share these across multiple platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, share them on all of them. And if at the end of the day, when a combined, let's say 500 people says has 100 or 150 as viewed on Facebook, you know, another 60 to 70 viewed on Snapchat, another 100 or so viewed on Instagram. When I see those numbers come out to like 400 to 500 people just saw my post about saying, can you please click here for a six minute video? And my video has five views after 24 hours. That, that, that it breaks my heart. Like I sit here, I've had many of sleepless nights where I've gone 24, 48 hours and not sleeping, just writing down ideas like, what do I have to do? I know earning respect and earning people's viewership is not easy. Like I said, I completely get that. And the fact that I've even gotten to 110 subscribers should be in a feat of its own because so many people give up before they even hit 100. So that I am so thankful for, guys. Trust me, I am thankful for it. I am genuinely appreciative of it. But with like anybody who wants to grow, it is frustrating to me to have so many people view the link and everything and just not even go to even check it out or give it a chance. That's where I wanna try to transition into this. I feel like the message has been lost about what this channel is about um, from the beginning. Not by me, but by people that view the videos. So I've had a lot of people say that you change your content a lot. You're either, you're sometimes at the football field, it's hockey, it's this, it's this, you're playing games now, you know, you need to focus on one thing. First of all, no. It's my YouTube channel for a reason. If I wanna make a gaming video because that's what I enjoy doing, I'm not gonna do something that I hate. Like this is something I'm passionate about. I don't wanna ruin it by doing something I don't wanna do that day. Like I told you guys from the beginning, I only do things if I'm 100% passionate about it. I'm not gonna get on here and be fake with you guys. I'm gonna be 100% real. You can tell if I'm not being genuine. You can tell when anybody's not being genuine. So if I just wanted to stick to talking with you guys every single day, I know that I would be fake by doing it. Because I can feel passionate about something on a Monday, and then Tuesday wake up and wanna shoot that video with all these ideas, and I don't have that same passion and it's somewhere else that day. That's where, how my mind works. And then some, I'll write that idea down because I know I'll come back to it and I'll be just as passionate and as dedicated as I was. There's some videos, guys, where I've had wrote down for three months and I still haven't shot them yet because I haven't found, I haven't had that same fire, that same passion to talk about it. And I don't want to be fake for you guys. So I'm not going to get on here and talk every single day. Sometimes I'm going to have a gaming video. Sometimes I'm going to have a video of me playing hockey. Sometimes I'm going to have a video of me practicing hockey. That's what I felt like and was passionate about that day. So I know that you're getting the real me. I don't want to be fake. And I, that's a big reason why I think my channel and isn't where it. I feel like it should be. And it's what keeps me doing the content that I'm doing. Because I'm never going to sell out and be fake for you guys. Whatever I'm passionate about or feel like that day, that's what you are going to get from me. That is, you're not going to get ever me selling it. I would rather only have 100,000 subscribers at the end of all this if I ever decide to stop one day and know that I had 100,000 loyal people who rode with me than 5 million people because I sold out that just because I was hot at that moment that the very next day someone else can make a better video or is more hot and four point, you know, 4.9 million of those 5 million are gone because they they just hop on whatever's hot. I would never wanna do that. And I feel like that's what, guys, 
I'm gonna be completely real with you. This channel could have been uh, so much further along if I would have just done what was hot, done what was trendy. <laughs> that's that's the whole key to this: doing what is hot, doing what is trendy. But for me, I wanted it to have, I wanted it to be relatable. I wanted it to be real for you guys. It's called Rodax Revival for a reason. I'm reviving my life. I want to give you an insight to how I'm feeling that day. And so the whole point of the channel, like I said, the message may have seemed to be lost, but the whole point of the channel was to be able to help people out. Now, I know what you're probably going to be thinking. How are you helping somebody out by just playing Fortnite? Let me, let me ask you something. Or let me not ask you something. Let me just tell you something. For me, a couple years ago, I was going through a really rough time, and I found a YouTuber by the name of Laserbeam. Big YouTuber, has five, almost six million views. I found him when he only had like 300,000. And I saw one video of him one day, and I was depressed for like a month straight. I was going through some really dark times, and I found a video of him playing Geometry Dash. Guys, if you don't know it, go look it up. It's a simple game. But he was getting so angry and made it so funny that it completely took me out of my depression and I found another video of his and more videos just kept being recommended to me to the point where I credit this guy for getting me out of my depression. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what the content is. I'm trying to make content for everybody. Whether you like, you, you come to my channel to watch me play hockey Come to my channel to watch me play video games. Come to my channel to maybe learn something, be motivated, be inspired. Whatever it may be, I want to make this a family. I don't want just a bunch of people just to be riding on because it's hot or because I'm doing what's trendy and that they could be gone the next day because they never really cared. I want people to care. I want this to be like a family. And so if making my gaming video get some 13, 14, 15 year old kid that just got broken up with at school or was embarrassed or whatever it may be makes his day better, then that did it for me. Whether it's me crying on video, pouring out all my heart and emotion in my personal life to you guys helps you learn something or anything or coming to my channel because you enjoy watching me play hockey in that 15 minutes get you out of that bad day that you had that's what I want to do that's why I make these videos I try to make all these videos with the intent to be able to let you escape for a day for not even for a day for 15 minutes that's all I want to do is I want to help that's all I want to do I don't do anything I never got into YouTube for ever wanting to be to make a ton of money out of it I always when I did this channel, of course, uh, inside of me, ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted my name to be known for something, being famous for something. So that is there. I'm not even going to lie about that. I want this channel to be big. I want my name to be remembered for something, but I want it to be remembered for the right things. And so that's just what's so frustrating is I feel like I give everything I have to my life to want to give to others because it helps me as well. Playing video games is something I love to do and it's fun. I am passionate about it. It gets me my escape from it. But after a while, it really weighs on you getting two to three hours of sleep every single night just because, let me just tell you guys a story. The other day, I made that video about me going to a uh, psychiatrist for the very first time. That video got 20 views. That was an extremely vulnerable moment for me to put that out there, but that's something I'm willing to do to help. Now that video got 20 views. I'm sure 10 of them were from people that watch my view my videos no matter what they are. And I know who you guys are. I love you guys. But I got a I got a message on Instagram saying that they just happened to see my video from the tag, you know, one of the hashtags I put in there, and they didn't have anything to do for 20 minutes, so they decided to watch it. This was Friday I received this message. It's Sunday right now. The video came out on Tuesday. I get a message on Instagram 
of a person at a therapy clinic. This person was twice my age and they just randomly happened to find my video and they got a, I got a message saying because of your video for the first time in my life I've decided to try therapy for my depression or anxiety or whatever it may be and I just want you to know that I appreciate you that is all I want to do is to be able to help people or motivate them this person was like I said twice my age and was in that same boat I was but saw that I could I could have an effect on someone's life like that that's all I want to do but this is where my frustration comes in as much as I appreciate that person as much as I've talked to that person as much as I thank that person, as much as I thank everybody and how, how blessed I truly know I am to even be able to make videos. What if that video got a thousand views? How many people do you think it could help? Granted, it could still only help one. But if 20 views, 20, Think about that. There are, what is it, 7 billion people on earth and 20 people watched a video that took me a day and a half to edit. <laughs> Imagine, and, and somebody changed their lives because one of those 20 saw that. Imagine if this channel was bigger. Imagine if it had 1,000 views, 100,000 views, a million views. How many people do you think it could really help? That's what frustrates me is because I people can say whatever they want to say I know my words have value I only speak about them because I'm passionate and I've done my due diligence before I speak on it I don't speak on it for no reason I don't do anything for no reason so I know that my words can help my videos can help that's what the goal of the channel was the entire time is I want to help people and 20 views translated into possibly changing someone's life at almost 50 years old but like I said imagine if it had 20,000 views how many people do you think it could help that's what's so frustrating is that this is what my mind is thinking like I gotta work harder I got, I'm killing myself because I don't know what to do but I know my videos are helping because I get messages every single I do not talk about that that is personal between me and the people that message me but I get messages every single day about how you helped me with this oh I loved your video on this I love you know whatever it may be that's all I want to do is help at the end of the day but my videos they get 10 11 12 views like that hurts because I kill myself and I drive myself crazy this is where my anxiety is rooted from and the reason I went to a psychiatrist is because I was driving myself crazy asking myself what do I have to do I've, I feel like I've done everything like how you know I'm willing to put it I'm putting in the work it's not that I'm willing to do the work I am already putting in the work I am dedicated and it's not about me personally just wanting to make a bunch of my, like no I want to be able to reach more people to help and guys, I I don't know if I should take it here, but if imagine if this channel was bigger. How many more people could we have reached with Mary's story? How many more people could we have been made aware of it? How many people could we have have donated? Like I don't know what to say about it. That's just what it is don't get it twisted guys I want to help you may not see it because you don't like gaming videos or you don't like me playing hockey 
But when people told me, oh, you made me want to go play hockey again, or oh, you showed me a new sport, and now, you know, I have something to keep me busy, keep my mind off of, you know, going out and doing other things, whatever it may be, spending money, whatever it may be, because they found a new sport that they love. They, you know, watched my 15 minute video and it cheered them up for that 15 minutes. And that's me playing Fortnite, whatever it may be. Like, that's the whole goal of this channel, guys. So, I don't want this to come off as me complaining. Like I said, I know I'm blessed and I appreciate wholeheartedly the people that watch my videos, the 110 people that we have subscribed. But I would be lying to you if I told you I'm not extremely frustrated by it by the lack or the low views that we get. Um, like I said, I understand it's hard work. I know that it's not going to happen overnight. But I feel like it should be further along than what it is now. And I know how I am. I will continue to drive myself crazy. I will continue to be giving myself anxiety, wondering why things aren't working the way that I feel like they should be. And... To end it all off, guys, like I said, don't lose this message of this channel. All I want to do is help. I want to help people in whatever way it can. Like I said, whether it's me playing hockey, me talking about issues, me motivating you, inspiring you, me pouring out my emotions to let you know that it's okay, you know, to talk to people. It's okay to let out emotion that no one no one over here is going to judge you for it or that my gaming video turned your bad day into a good one that's all i want to do guys is help and it frustrates me that i can't help more because i am doing everything in my power to make this channel bigger than what it is now and it seems like all I'm doing is just banging my head against the wall and I'm not getting anywhere. And it really hurts. And I am i didn't want to make this video one in every video just kept getting lower and lower views or low views. You know, give me feedback. If you think this sucks or the video I made sucks, let me know. Like, you can write a comment. You can write or DM me, do whatever you want to do. Uh, you're, I'm not going to take your negative comment. Not negative, it could be a positive. Like, I, maybe I don't realize that I'm making, that I make bad videos and my editing isn't up to par or I'm doing this and videos are doing that and that's why you don't want to. Let me know. You can be as brutal as you want. I will take it, apply it. But... I've already spoke long enough. Like I said, I wanna. I just wanted to give you guys my perspective. So I hope you can all appreciate that and realize that I'm not trying to complain. That I do genuinely appreciate everything that has been given to me through this channel. But I want to be able to reach more people so that I can potentially help more people. And to be just stuck and stagnant is really, it really frustrates me. So if it's me doing something wrong, let me know. But I'm just going to end it there. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and hit that like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget, share and subscribe. That's the biggest, that's the easiest way to grow this channel, guys. I need your help to subscribe or share. And so with that being said, guys, I will all leave you there. I will see you all in a later video and have a good rest of your weekend. Peace.